Good morning. Let's start seated in simple cross leg. Palms on knees, straight spine. Shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed. Eyes closed for the first few seconds. Start relaxing your thighs. Sit up straight from your lower back. And slowly start deepening your inhales and lengthening your exhales. Take a long deep breath in, hold it for a few seconds, exhale out very slow. Opening your eyes, inhale, let's stretch our arms to the sides, lifting it all the way up, looking up. Exhale, join your elbows together, bringing your hands down, looking at your fingertips. Inhale, stretch, lengthen spine, look up. Exhale, elbows come together, look down. Inhale. Exhale. Interlace fingers, stretch both your arms up. Inhale here, exhale, twist towards the right side, press your hips down firmly, inhale, center, exhale, left, inhale, center, exhale, right, inhale, center, exhale, left, inhale, draw your tummy in nicely, exhale, twist, Inhale, tummy in, exhale, lift. Inhale, come back to center, releasing your hands. Replace the fingertips on top of the shoulders, joining your elbows together. Exhale out here. Lift your elbows up, move it all the way back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, elbows jump. Let's do that three more times at your own pace. Reverse the direction. So inhale when moving your elbows back and lifting it up. Exhale when you are joining your elbows together. Three more times. And release. Let's come on to all fours, on the knees and bust. Fingers are spread wide, knees separated, hip width apart. So we'll move our body towards the left side, lean forward, feel this light press pressure in your wrist, lean towards the right side, move your hip back. So making circles, three big circles, keep breathing normally. Once you are done with three rounds, keep the fingers spread wide, grip the mat, reverse the direction. Three more circles.
coming back to center. Knees are still separated hip width apart. Let's stretch the right leg up, toes pressing down. So shoulders are wanting to move forward, tummy is in. And mindfully keep moving the right heel back. So you're tightening your entire right leg. So the right leg is so strong that the left knee is like becoming lighter. So you can lift the left knee up wherever you feel like. So stretch the right leg up, look forward. Keep moving the right heel back. Three deep breaths in and out. Stretch your calf muscles, also move the heel back a little bit more. And release. Move to the other side. Stretch the left leg up, left toes pressing down. So shoulders wanting to move forward, active chest. And slowly start moving the left heel back. The more you engage your left leg, you feel it in your calf muscles also. Three deep breaths in and out. And release. Walk your palms one step forward. Tuck toes, lifting your knee up, downward facing down. Feet separated hip width apart. Inhale, let's bring the knees down to all fours. Exhale, downward facing down. Choice to not bring your knees down when you are inhaling. Inhale, knees come just off the floor or bring it down. Exhale, downward facing down. Let's do that three more times at your own pace. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, down. And when you're exhaling, stretch the spine out nicely. Exhale out fully. Look forward, let's step the right foot forward in between parts and the left forward. Feet together, inhale, panika, stretch your arms out, look up. Exhale, palms in front of chest. Shivananda style, Surya Namaskar, to warm up the body. Exhale out in front of us. Inhale, lift both your arms up, move your thighs forward, lean back gently. Knees softly bent, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, right foot back, look forward. Palms down, left foot back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down, Ashtanga Namaskar. Point your toes out, slide forward, chest up, Bhujangasana. Inhale, tuck toes, lifting up, downward facing down. Inhale, right foot forward in between palms. Exhale, left forward. Feet together, inhale, coming up, lean back gently. Exhale, pranamas, palms in front of chest. Take a deep breath in, exhale up. Inhale, hasta uttana. Exhale, padhasta. Inhale, left foot back, ashta sanchana. Palms down, right foot back, dandas. Feel free to reduce your pace according to your body's limitations. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, Bhujangasana, chest up. Relaxing your shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left foot forward in between parts. Exhale, right forward. Inhale, coming up. Lean back a little bit more. Stretch your spine up. Exhale, pranamas. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, hasta uttana. Exhale, padhasta. Inhale, right back. Hold breath, left side. Exhale, ashtanga namaskar. Inhale, bhujangasana. Point your toes out, lift chest up. Exhale, parvatas. Downward facing down. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left forward. Preparing to continue. Inhale, come down. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, left back. Hold breath, right back. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Parvatasana. Inhale, left forward. Exhale, right forward. Inhale, coming up. Continuing, exhale, fold. Inhale, right. Hold breath, left. Exhale, Ashtanga. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Parvatas. Inhale, right forward. Exhale, left forward. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left. Hold breath, right. Exhale, Ashtanga. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Padvatas. Inhale, left forward. Exhale, right forward. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, palms in front of chest. Eyes closed for the next 15 seconds. Watch your breath. Ashtanga A, Surya Namaskar. Opening your eyes. Exhale out fully. Inhale, stretch your arm to this size. Lengthen spine, look up. Urdhva Hasta. Knee softly bend. Exhale, fold forward completely. Forehead down. Knee can be bent. Inhale, chest and head up. Arch your low back, lift chest up. Exhale, stepping back to Chaturanga. Come back to plank. Either come halfway down. Or lie down flat. Point your toes out. Straight elbows, chest up. Upward facing dog. Strengthen your legs. If possible, knees off the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths out and downward dog. Lifting the right leg up. So keep the hip closed. Stretch the right leg up. Rather than lifting it up too high, stretching it up. Spread your right toes. Breathe. Stretch your calf muscle also. Exhale, bringing the right foot down. Look forward, stepping both your feet forward. Ardha Uttana, arch your low back, lift chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming up. Udva Hasta. Exhale, Pranamas. Inhale, Udva Hasta. Lift arms and stretch. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Arch your back, chest up, Ardha Uttana. Exhale, step back to Chaturanga or lie down flat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing down. Feet separated hip width apart, lifting the left leg up. You can always choose to do this in all fours. If downward dog is difficult, all fours. Closing your hip. Spread the left toes, left knee straight. Breathe. Left foot down, look forward. Stepping both your feet forward. Ardha Uttana, chest and head up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming up, Udva Hasta. Exhale, Pranamas. Palms in front of chest, eyes closed. Listen to your heartbeat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out fully. Inhale Utkatasana. Sit back onto your heels, stretching both your arms up. Exhale, fold forward Uttanasana. Inhale, chest and head up Ardha Uttanasana. 
We try to either step or hop back. I'm trying to hop back. So you're hopping back, walk your feet one tiny step back. Become light on your knees. And as you are going to hop back, lift the hip up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Veerabhadrasana 1. Right foot forward, left foot down. Inhale, come up, warrior 1. Look up. Palms down, step back, Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right foot down. Inhale, Veerabhadrasana 1. Palms down, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lifting the right leg up this time. We will bend the right knee. Opening the hip towards the right side. You can do the same practice in all fours also. Keep lifting the knee up higher. Look through your right armpit. Three deep breaths in and out. So you are moving the hip towards the right side. And the knee pointing up. Bringing the right foot down. Exhale up. Stepping both your feet forward. Adha Uttana. Chest and head up. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Utkatasan. Chair pose. Exhale. Pranamas. Take a deep breath in. Exhale up. Inhale. Utkatasan. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Chest up. Adha Uttana. The step. Or hop back Chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left foot dog. Inhale warrior one. Palms down, step back Chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Left foot forward, right foot down. Inhale, warrior one. Palms down, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch your breath, lifting the left leg up. Bend left knee, open the foot. So mindfully keep moving the hip towards the left side. And keep pointing the knee up towards the ceiling. Both elbows straight. Mm. Stepping the left foot down, exhale. Look forward, stepping both your feet forward. Adha Uttana chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Utkatas. Exhale, Pranamas. Thumb touching the center of your chest. Eyes closed. Feel your heartbeat. Watch your breath. Gently opening your eyes. Hands on hip. Let's bring the right knee in front of us. Fix the gaze down at one point. Find your balance. Engage tummy, chest is up. You can choose to hold on to the right thigh and straighten the leg out. It's option A. Those who want to practice with me, hold on to the outer edge of your feet and try to stretch. So both are perfectly okay. See what works for you. Gaze at one point. You are either holding on to the right thigh, trying to straighten the leg out, without leaning back with your chest, or lean forward, hold on to the outer edge of your right foot, 
and slowly try to stretch the right leg out. Left leg is nice and strong. Keep moving your chin forward. Breathe. Five. Somebody is calling me in the balcony. I am not going. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly release. Hands on hip. Eyes closed. Opening your eyes. Let's bring the left knee in front of chest. You can choose. Hold on to the thigh, stretch it out. Or with me, you can fold forward. I'm holding on to the outer edge of the left foot. Engage them, lean forward halfway. And slowly take your time to stretch the left leg out. Right leg is nice and strong. Breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Slowly release. Let's squat down in Malasan. Elbows inside the knee, palms together. Straight spine, eyes closed. Getting into Kakasan front here. So let's bring the upper arm inside the knee. So you can skip Kakasan and stay with Malasan. Or you can choose to bring the palms down. And just come onto the tips of your toes and stay here. Just want to move forward. Press your knees against your upper arm nicely. Keep the elbows bent. Look forward. Maybe one foot comes off. And the other. Keep leaning forward with your body straight. Breathe. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Bringing your feet down, holding on to the inner soles of your feet, toes pointing forward. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly start lifting your hip up, tighten thighs, and use the grip of your inner soles and the fingers to move your chest forward. So visualize the ribcage moving forward and down. Crown of the head down, shoulders away from your ears. Five deep breaths in and out. Stay with me, start pressing your feet nice and firm, tight and thighs. Keep the knees softly bent. Lift chest up halfway, straightening your elbows. Okay, let's all try squeezing the tummy in and moving it down. So, you're trying to move the tummy close to the thigh. It's as you're trying to arch your low back, lift the chest up. So, you're arching your back, tighten thighs. Exhale, fold forward. Three more deep breaths in and out. Inhale, chest up. Let's bring the fingertips in front of feet. Separate the feet a little bit more wider than hip width apart. Let's bend the left knee. So bending the left knee. Wrapping the left hand around the left thigh. Not the groin. So your hand is not going between your legs. The left hand is wrapping around the left thigh. Right hand from behind. Engage your legs. Lengthen spine, lift chest up. Slowly start rolling your right shoulder back. And try to straighten out your left leg as much as possible. Nice and strong legs. If possible, look up. Three deep breaths in and out. Okay, let's make it five. Open just a little bit more. Exhale, release, bend both knees, 
Let go of your hands. Let the head hang loose. Relax. Opening your eyes, let's move on to the other side. So toes are pointing forward or slightly in to give you better grip. Bend the right knee, wrap the right hand around the thigh, left hand from behind. You are either holding on to the wrist or clasping the fingers. You lift chest halfway up, roll the left shoulder back and slowly try to straighten your right knee. Five deep breaths in and out. Keep rolling the left shoulder back. And slowly release. Let's bring our palms down. Stepping both our feet back to plank. You are going to hold regular plank for 10 breaths. So if any pain, discomfort in the wrist, please get your elbows down, getting into forearm back. Shoulder is in one line, feet together or separated, which is comfortable for you. Strengthen legs, tummy in, look forward, awareness with your breathing. Comfortable long breaths in and long breaths out. Please take breaks wherever you feel like. I am in my count of six in reverse. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's lower the hip down, press the forearms onto the floor, keep the chest lifted up and separate the feet nicely till you get comfortable here. So your pubic bone is pressing down, the chest is lifted up, eyes open or closed. Slowly start engaging your legs a little bit more. So press the pubic bone down consciously. Press your palms, straight elbows, lift chest. So I'm walking my feet one step closer to deepen the back. Shoulders are relaxed. Walking the palm one step back if you're comfortable. Keep lengthening your spine. The easiest way to lengthen is always keep pressing the pubic bone down and move the shoulder blades down to lift chest. Slowly bring your forehead down, any one cheek or mat, eyes closed. Spreading the feet hip width apart, toes pointed out, palms beneath your shoulders, press palms, inhale, straight elbows, lift chest up. Okay. It's okay for the hip to lift up. Those who have fairly flexible back can have their entire thighs and hip down, chest lift up. Inhale, lift chest up, look over right shoulder, gazing at your left heel. Keep moving the hips down and keep the chest lifted up. Breathe. 
Inhale, come back to center. The chest is lifted. Thighs moving down. Hip remains in the same place. Roll your left shoulder back. Looking at your right heel. Again, shoulder blades moving down. Three more breaths. Come back to center. Bring yourself down. Other cheek on mat. Eyes closed. Awareness with the low back. Take your time to roll over up to the mat, coming on your back. Feet together, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Stretch both your arms over your head. Now strengthen your legs, exhale out here. Inhale, come up to seated, stretch your spine up. Exhale, fold forward, touch your toes. Inhale, sitting up straight. Exhale, slowly lie down. Inhale, come it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, lie down. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, lie down. Two more rounds at your own pace. Go as slow as possible. Let's join in the forward fold, Pachimottanasana. Grabbing hold of your big toes with the first three fingers. If tummy comes in between, separate the thighs. Moving your hip one step back. The same practice you're trying to arch your back. So even if you can't feel the arch, it's okay. So tummy is down. Lift chest up, lengthen. Straight elbows. Inhale here. Move your shoulders down. And slowly start bringing the elbows and the tummy close towards the floor. Throughout the practice, chest remains lifted so that you can bring the chin beyond your knee. Once the chin comes beyond the knee, then try to bring your entire face down. Breathe. Staying here for the next 10 deep breaths in and out. Keep tightening both your thighs. Inhale, chest up. Let's hold on to the. So I'm holding my foot from outside. You can keep the knees bent also. If you can't reach the foot, keep the knees bent. Holding on to both your feet. So palms are pressing against the soles of the feet. Inhale, lengthen spine. Keeping that spine straight. Start pointing your toes out. So I'm using the balls of my feet to move my palms away. And slowly start moving your upper body away from your legs. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. You can choose to drop your head down. Shoulder blades moving away from the legs. And the balls of the feet helping you stretch your arms out. Slowly coming out of the practice. Bringing the palms behind your hip. Feet together, point your toes up. A choice to keep your knees bent to reduce the intensity. Stretch your legs out, keep gazing at your big toes. Nice and strong legs, 
slowly start lifting your hip up. Once you can't see the big toes anymore, drop your head back. Breathe. Keep lifting the hip up. Slowly bringing the hip down. Let's do one more stretch for the shoulder. We'll keep the knees bent, feet on mat. Place the back of the palm, the sides of your ribcage. Bringing the elbows inside. So this itself might make you feel the stretch in your shoulders. If that happens, just stay there. If you're comfortable, lengthen spine. And slowly start moving your knees close to each other. Neck is relaxed. Slowly releasing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get into Bandha Konas. My least favorite posture. Let's join the soles of the feet together. I am going to give myself a tiny lift for the hip because my inner thighs rotation, the external rotation is usually tougher. So you can also choose to sit on a bolster or slight lift to the hip. It helps you deepen the opening of the inner thighs. So press the heels nice and firm. So using the movement of pressing of your heels to move the thighs down. So keep moving your thighs down. Elbows you can press it anywhere on the leg. Onto the thighs, onto the shin, which you think gives you a better stretch. Keep lengthening spine and slowly start bringing your chest down. But the only movement is from the hip. The more your tummy comes down, chest follows the tummy. Eyes closed. Two long breaths. Five more deep breaths in and out. Those who feel like stretching their arms up, stretch your arms up. Inhale, lift chest up. Releasing. Let's keep the knees bent, feet on mat. Hands are down to support you. Let's wrap the right thigh around the left and see if we can get into Garudasan legs. So I'm wrapping the right thigh around the left and the left foot crossing over the sorry, right foot crossing over the left ankle. Sit up straight, walking your fingertips back, start lifting your shin up, stretching both your arms up. So if you can get into eagle arms, let's try that also. Left upper arm on top of right. Since we are here, let's get into low boat. See if you can get into low boat. Low back down. Inhale, come back to Navas. Let the elbows and the knees touch. Exhale back. Inhale forward. You can skip this movement and stay in regular Navas. Exhale. Stretch your legs up. Inhale. One last round. Exhale and inhale. Let's stay here for five. Move the palms away from your face. Four, three, two, and one. Release. I'm curious to see if we can get into Garudasan from here. Support yourself. Lean forward. I'm just curious. I'm trying and it is not happening. Let's release the leg. Find your balance, come up to standing. So you just have to do the uh, let go of the double lock, come up and then wrap the legs again. Slowly getting your hands back into position. 
at say f of 5. Those who can squat down deep, squat down deep. 4, 3, 2, and 1 with control. Release the double log alone. Come down to seated. Let's switch sides. <clears throat> Bringing the left thigh on top of right. Getting your double lock. If that's not happening, it's okay. Just wrap the thigh around. Lift the shin up. Right upper arm on top of left. You can choose to stay here. Or as exhale, lean back. Low boat. Inhale, come up to boat. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, the last one, exhale, and inhale, choice to stay here, or else release the double lock, press the right foot down, come up to standing with Garudas in legs, get your hands back in position, breathe. So I'm trying to squat down deep. Staying here. If you're too tired, come out of the posture. Lie down onto the mat. Others just add a little bit of more fun. So move your hands towards the right side. See if you can get into an arm balance. Come down, move your hands to the left side and I am just exploring if I can get into an arm balance. And slowly come down to seated. If that was a bit confusing, pause the video and go back and see if the arm balance happens. Join the soles of the feet together and slowly lie down onto the mat. The Supta Baddha Bonas. Palms resting on your thighs. Shoulders relaxed. Eyes closed. Start relaxing your tummy, chest. Slowly join your knees together. Hug both knees close to chest. Give a nice and tight hug. Relax your belly. Cross ankles. Rock forward. Coming up to seat. Let's stretch both the legs up. We will bend the left knee. Bringing the left foot in line with the right hip. And there is at least one palm distance between your left foot and the right thigh. So left side of the hip will lift up which is okay. If you can keep it down, keep it down. But I prefer keeping it up because it helps me deepen my forward foot. Let's wrap the left hand around the left thigh, right hand from behind. So you are pressing the left foot firmly to keep the knee pointed up. Right foot pointing towards you. Marichasana A. Inhale, lift chest up. Start engaging your tummy. To slowly bring the right chin down towards the knee. Deep on your exhale, three more deep breaths out.
Inhale, lift chest up. Releasing the left leg. Shake your knee off. We'll bend the right knee. Wrap the right hand around the leg. So take time to adjust the position of your right foot. If it is too close, then you will not be able to forward fold because there is no gap for the hip to roll forward. Okay. So have space between the right foot and the left thigh. Wrap the hand around. Keep the right leg active and the left leg as well. Inhale, lift chest up. Point the left toes towards you. Exhale, slowly start bringing your chin down. Three more deep breaths up. Inhale, lifting your chest up. Releasing your hands. Lie down after the mat. Shoulder stand or sarvangasana. If you're menstruating, avoid shoulder stand. You can lie down in sutta padukonas. We will try and stay in shoulder stand for 5 minutes today. So anytime it becomes difficult, come out slowly or you can go close to the wall and use wall support to get into shoulder stand. Let's roll back, lifting the hip up. If you can support your middle back, if the shoulders are fairly open, you can choose to move your palms towards your middle back. Walk the elbows in, stretch your legs up. And choice to keep your eyes closed. Relax your belly. Let the belly expand as you're inhaling. And contract as you're exhaling. Switching to Ujjayi breathing. So breathe in and out with a sound. So you are controlling the breath using the throat. And shoulder stand, the Jalandar Bandha, the neck log happens on its own. So you just have to ensure that you are breathing in and out a little deeply with a subtle sound that comes out of your throat. Start relaxing your legs completely. No strain in your legs at all. Choice to move into Halasana and staying in Sarvangasana. If you feel like moving your feet slightly over your head or bringing it down all the way, go ahead. Two and a half more minutes to go.
starting now. Lining both knees. Bring your hip down slowly. Keeping the knees close to chest. Stretch your arms at shoulder level. Dropping your knees towards the left side. Head to right. Completely let go of your body. And switch to normal belly breathing. Bringing your knees back to center. Moving your knees to the right side, head to left. Bringing your knees back to center. Stretching your legs and arms out. To shavas. Separate your feet at least hip width apart. Hands nice and away. Arms facing up. Tighten both your legs. Stretch your toes out. Tighten your thighs. Lifting the legs off. And release. Make a fist. Tighten your arms, lift your shoulders and the head off, tighten your face and release. Let's try and tighten the entire body. We're going to just balance on your buttock, lift the rest of the body, make a tight fist, tighten your face, stretch your toes, stretch your legs, tighten, 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 tighten. And release Shavasana.
drawing us back to your body and breath. Take your time to slowly come out of Shavasana. Join the simple cross leg posture. Two rounds of Kapalbhati. Each round 20 forceful breaths out. So palms are resting on your knees. Sitting up straight, shoulders relaxed. The only movement is of your belly pumping hard. So let the intensity of your pumping be higher than the pace. So the pace being slow is absolutely okay. But try your best to draw the navel in and up every time you exhale. Inhalation is involuntary. You don't have to focus on it in here. Forceful exhalation. Only movement is in your belly. Rest of the body remains stiff. Exhale out fully. Closing your eyes. Inhale, take a deep breath in. And starting the practice now. 20 rounds. Sorry, 20 breaths out. Exhale out fully. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Hold. And when you can't hold it any longer, exhale out and remain seated. Resume normal breathing. Second round at your own pace. So complete your 20 breaths out. You can make it 30 if 20 is comfortable. Once you are done, take a deep breath in. Hold it till you can. Once you can't, exhale out very slowly. And sit still till you hear the next cue. Starting the second round at your own pace. Sit up straight. Sitting still, awareness to the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath in. Palms in front of chest. Thumb touching the center of the chest. As you are holding the breath in, observe your heartbeat. Exhale very slowly. Rough palms together. Place them on your eyes. Onto your face. Blink open into your palms. 
Thank you everyone for practicing with me today. Have a great day. I'll catch you up in the next video.